Lucius of Abdullah. I work for the South Tyneside Arab and Women's Road Kings Service and I'm a volunteer for Starch. It's been going for a number of years now and thank God it's, been, uh, it's carried on uh, by a lady called Margaret Gregg. We're a set of volunteers that, you know, you know, for the, the help of the it help asylum same seekers and refugees. If it wasn't for people like of Starch, you know, there wouldn't be much help out there for them. Mm-hmm. Everybody thinks that, you know, an asylum seeker comes here, they get free this, they get free that, and you know, they just live in the dream. They're not. They live in an actual nightmare. They're given a small amount of money and they're not really given much help. When I come here, believe me, believe me, my heart may be a sink change. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I don't think before, just, uh, I think before one come here, just I see, I'm relaxed, no, no problem. Just uh, I look about myself like this. After again, I see more things better. Why well, I see benefit. Okay, Eritrea and Michigan are the same. I want to say good listening. I say good My name is Dab Gavriwat. I come from Eritrea. He's from Eritrea, and at the beginning, he said that he had the problem with the government, not only him, the people having a problem with the government, and he's happy that he got the chance when he came here uh, to contact his family, Kamsanani. Yes, three years, for three years, he had no contact with his family, and uh, once he came to here, he got the chance to contact them. Yeah, he says uh, about here and a starch. He thanks about the uh, services that he's receiving from a starch, but his problem is uh, the, the lack of uh, English knowledge. He wishes to learn English as quick as possible and to sort out his problems here. The, the reason he's not that much happy is he doesn't know English and he's not able to make uh, connection with the people to learn how to live in the UK, actually. We are lost. This is our country, this is our life. We've actually got more families than we've ever had dependent on us. Uh, someone, nice person uh, from the community, introduced me to a starch and I went to a starch and received many services I was shocked actually when I saw in this country so the first time uh, my son and I went to the starch we met Mr. Richie and he explained that he's from police station and he gave us his own number uh, for any problem something I uh, called my son, come over here, uh, he's a policeman. Actually, it was the first time in our life that we could speak easily, friendly with the police in a warm atmosphere. And my son was happy as well. I came here in 2008 as a visitor in this country with my visa and uh, I came and uh, I found this country good, structure, everything, and um, it was not like uh, I expect, like my country found people, uh, like uh, we usually live in Africa. But uh, I, I like because everything for me is not perfect, but it was good. I came back and uh, come again with my, my daughter in 2000, in the same uh, year, 2008. But after me, I had uh, problems, political problems, and uh, I asked the government, uh, I, I don't want to go back because of my, I scared about my life. And when you change the life, uh, you change the country, it's like you change every story.